Let me explain this concept. Observe my hand. This area is the meniscus, which is a C-shaped continuous loop. The anterior and posterior horns firmly fix the medial meniscus to the tibia. When it is stable and fixed on the tibia, it cannot bulge out or widen, as long as the loop maintains its continuous integrity. However, when I observe the medial meniscus bulging out, it indicates that the meniscus's integrity is broken. A posterior horn or root tear is the most common cause of continuity failure. A posterior root tear detaches the meniscus from the tibia and is often the starting point of accelerated osteoarthritis. So, observing the bulging out of the medial meniscus signifies a meniscus tear. Not all tears produce bulging out, but bulging out always accompanies a meniscus tear, whether an acute posterior root tear or a slowly progressive degenerative tear. Technically, it is a 100% specific diagnostic tool for a meniscus tear, although it is not 100% sensitive. Join our master class membership today and unlock a treasure trove of knowledge. Benefit from updated weekly videos, including inspiring lectures, clinical case discussions, and image interpretation insights. Elevate your skills and connect with like-minded doctors. Subscribe now for a brighter professional future. The edge of the tibial plateau, instability of the medial joint space, and marginal spur of the joint. Then, the ultrasound findings will be correlated with the patient's symptoms and clinical examination. Here is a general guide to the stages of meniscus extrusion as might be interpreted from ultrasound imaging. Normal meniscus, the meniscus is in its typical position within the knee joint, not protruding beyond the joint line. Mild extrusion, the meniscus begins to bulge slightly out of the joint line but is less than 3 mm from the edge of the tibial plateau. Moderate extrusion, the meniscus bulges more significantly, measuring between 3 and 5 mm from the edge of the tibial plateau. Severe extrusion, the meniscus extends more than 5 mm beyond the edge of the tibial plateau, indicating a significant bulge or displacement. However, this grading system has limitations, as it cannot display dynamic movement. Therefore, I have upgraded this grading system to address these limitations. Here is my medial meniscus grading system. I have developed and used my medial meniscal grading system for a long time. It is more practical for diagnosing the pain generator and planning treatment as a pain practitioner than the KL staging system. It provides information on the dynamic bulging out excursion of the medial meniscus and the degree of preservation of the joint space by varus stress. I evaluate the degree of medial joint space wideness by valgus stress, reflecting the mediolateral instability and laxity of the medial joint space. I always correlate the meniscal bulging with the associated marginal spur. If there are two similar protrusions of medial menisci, the knee with the marginal spur will have a better prognosis than the meniscus without the spur. The presence of the marginal spur indicates the slow progress of the meniscus bulging. However, grade 3 protrusion without spur indicates acute aggravation of the progression of the meniscus tear, meaning there was no time to adapt. If the patient with grade 2 or 3 degeneration has enough time to live, the marginal spur will develop in a few years. My extended view of the joint space encompasses the whole surface area of the joint margin, including the true joint and the false joint formed by the marginal spur. Therefore, the marginal spur is a protective ally. In the next dynamic videos, I will show various stages of the meniscus bulging out. Sometimes, differentiating close stages, such as stage 1 and 2, or stages 2 and 3, or stage 3 and 4 is challenging. But don't worry, it is not important. However, stage 4 is completely bulged out with contact with the neighboring bone, and stage 1 will appear completely normal. Please observe the various stages of the meniscus. You can continue to watch more case series on my YouTube channel. If you join the fellowship course in interventional pain medicine at Korea University, you will gain great insights into pain medicine. I look forward to seeing you on my YouTube channel and participating in the fellowship course.